Yo, what up? Oh, man, I'm going bald. I lost all the hair in my head. I'm trying to do whatever to get my hair back, but damn, it's not coming up. Uh, but I can feel it. See, it's kind of grow a little bit. It's not like it used to be bald before. I can see the dark spot coming back. So it does work. You know, one thing I simply did to get it all back is to stop taking creatine. Yeah, I think that's the culprit. That's the reason why I lose my hair. And uh, you see the little dip right here? That's because I uh, brush it real hard. And I yanked it out and it pulls out the roots from right there. You see the little dip? Anyway, uh, this video that I'm doing, I usually like to lay down like this and talk about it. Because um, I hate standing up, sitting down. And uh, well, there's a photo in the back, so I don't want to leave people in there. Those are my uh, family. Anyway, what I want to say is, um, let's get them out of the way. God damn it! Get them out of the way. I don't want to. I don't want them in the photo. But uh, it feels good to be back in Long Beach. And um, I'm not looking for work anymore. Uh, I'm planning on opening up a business. I went to a uh, small business administration slash VA. No slash veteran. Uh, this alone that's guaranteeing up to, uh, well, first you got to fill out an application and then it asks you for a uh, certain requirement. <clears throat> All you got to do is be honest, be truthful. Uh, it's better if you have a business plan. Say what you want to do with your business. All right, for me, for instance, um, I'm going to start out with a laundromat and then I'm going to see it uh, three to four months from now. From the day that I started that laundromat business, because a, a laundromat business costs about costs about 120k, but you make at least like 80 to 100k a year. So if it costs 120k just to buy it, you know, plus the broker commission, so you make about 100k in returns. So I can pay off that the whole thing in less than two, maybe three years, just 36 months. Anyway, I'm started out with a laundromat, and um, three to four months from from the day that I start, once I know how much I make a month, so I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I have I have the estimate or I did my homework. Um, usually, you make somewhere around eight to ten, sometimes fifteen grand a month on a laundromat, you know, coin laundry. Yeah, that's where I'm heading. So I'll give it a try for about. Three to four months, and then I after that I'm gonna open up another shop if it all goes well as planned. I'm gonna open up a uh, uh, baguette shop, you know baguette. I don't know baguette or baguette, the French bread. Yeah, you know you got the tiny bread and then you got the long bread. So I'm gonna go that route, and then I'll open up a uh, a donut shop and then a, uh, a noodle shop. You know, because I'm aging myself. Fast food noodle, you know, popular one is pho. We don't call it pho. I'm Khmer, Cambodian. We call it Cathil. And it's written inside of the, uh, the, uh, uh, cave. It, it's engraved in cave painting in the, uh, Angkor Wat. About 1100 years ago. It's, uh, we call that Cathil. It's not, uh, pho. That's Vietnamese stuff. But it's basically the same shit, man. It's it's all noodle, rice noodle. But uh, it, this is a Khmer version, so I'm going to go that route. Uh, I will no longer work for anybody, any corporation or any company. Uh, because this one book that got me hooked on it, it's called uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki, and you know who he is, just look it up. You can go to YouTube, type in his name, and you see him, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, what he said is true. He said, um, job, job is for broke people. Job stands for just over broke. Uh, rich people buy acid. Middle class buy liability. And then the poor buy expenses. That's so true, man. What he said, uh, you know, people get up, go to work, they pay their bills, and they do the same thing over and over. Um, people work so hard, you know, you, you, you get a job, and then you go to interview. Well, you go to the interview, you get a job. And you work your butt off nine to five, 
but all they do the same thing. Um, employer works so hard so they won't be fired. And then the employer pays so little so that you will not quit your job. So they keep on dropping this little seed. They keep dropping this little seed. They make you want to chase after their dream, but eventually you never make it to the top. You never make it to the executive position. You may make it to 100K a year, but it's going to take a while. Well, the better option is quit your job. Go to a small business administration and take out some loan. And I notice I can get out. I, I can get a loan up to um, where well, you got to fill out the application and then they'll take you to all these lenders, one of which is going to take you to Bank of America or Citibank or Chase, uh, uh, JP, Morgan Bank, something like that. Uh, you can get up to $5 millions if you qualify for it, but you can only get up to like 75% of it. And then you got to have a collateral damage, like a collateral, you know, in case um, you go bankrupt. The bank will try to recuperate that money back, and that means you've got to have something that's equal to that value. If you're going to borrow a million dollars, right, that means you got to have something, like some kind of asset, like a house, that's equal or the same as a hundred million, a million dollars. So that's the point I'm going. So I looked on a small business administration, and they have all these loans. You got the... I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them, I'm, I'm not an expert in it, but uh, I just look, briefly looked into it, and I'm pretty sure I qualify for, uh, since a laundromat is only 120 k so I can get a loan up to 200 k and then open up a laundromat, pay the commissioner to a broker, and then pay the, the owner, and buy it all out, and then just pay the uh, uh, small business administration loan, the monthly payment plan. And I go from there. So hopefully I'll make 10 grand, 15 grand a month. And I can pay off that laundromat in about a year, maybe two years. And then build my capital. And hopefully, you know, have a laundromat. And then you got the uh, noodle shop. And that's about like 45K a month. Uh, net income. Yeah, or net profit. And then you got um, donut shop. You can make easily 35k a month, depending on where you're at. There are videos on YouTube explaining this. There's one guy in uh, up north in Sacramento. Sacramento, he, he makes like 35k a month, but he plans on selling his donut shop because um he has plans to do some other thing. He's already a millionaire. Anyway, so laundromat, donut shop, um, bagel shop. Man, I keep saying bagel. It's not bagel. It's baguette. You know the French bread, and then you got the. Uh, then I have the the uh, noodle shop or the restaurant. It's like a fast food, you know, like a faux shop, restaurant, noodle shop, cathedral shop, and uh, hopefully, um, I'll you know employ my family members and then um, other people, so on and so on. But the cost of living in California is so high, man. I don't know what to do. Um, the only one way to do is uh, a boat rat. Like when you change your conscience, the city changes. When the city changes, the county changes. The county changes, the state changes. So vote rat. If voting blue does not work for you, vote rat. Everybody changes. That's it.